what's ripening YouTube hey I just want to share with you something that I've been working on for the last uh, about three weeks now we're going into our fourth week um, it's a big project um, near Bradenton in Palmasola it's a private estate so I'm not going to give you the address or anything but um, Really great client. Um, we've been working. I've been working with uh, Pete Canaris at Green Dreams, and we kind of teamed up for this um, with a few other guys. And uh, what you're looking at right here, well, there's the, the house being built, and there's some outhouses over there. So this is like their massive zone one. Um, this is what we're calling the market garden. It's still under construction but most of the infrastructure is here um, we've got the beds put in uh, there's 10 beds on each side um, they're all irrigated with uh, drip irrigation um, we're putting together the, the front fence the outer fence um, on the outside of the market garden is, is our fedge which is the fruit tree hedge these are all shrubby Shrubby fruit tree species, a lot of Eugenias, um, the Bodacabas, Suriname cherries. There's some some culinary trees like the Bay Rum and the Cherry of the Rio Grande we've got here, allspice, um, lots of understory ground cover type stuff. And then out here is the main orchard system. Um, I don't know if you can see the whole scale of it, but the whole site, at least our portion of the site, is about three acres. I'm just panning around here. Um, the fruit trees are all up on mounds. This site, um, when it rains, can get pretty wet. Um, it does drain right out to this is Palmasola Bay. Um, from the high side of the property, or at least the high side of the grove, I mean, down to the low side, it only drops about four feet. And uh, the soil is like. It's not like the normal sand I'm used to in Florida. There is, there are sandy areas, but a lot of it's really mucky. This is, this is several days later, and it's like, it's pretty rich, but man, it gets really sticky and mucky. It was not easy to dig up, to dig into. Um, but we got most of it done. Uh, we actually, we used a sod cutter to, uh, to trace out these beds, and then we scraped up the, the rest of the sod. Um, before we planted in. We planted everything high and then we kind of top dressed around them. The main trees are on mounds which are probably a f I don't know, foot and a half tall and then they're even planted high in the mounds and then top dressed. Um, the species in this system we've got lots of mangoes, we've got avocados, lychees, long ends. Uh, right behind me there's loquats, uh, there's jackfruit back there, um, several types of anonas. We've got guavas, canistel, um, what else do we have? Mulberries, jujubes, persimmons, starfruit, um, sapodilla, or sapodilla, depending on who you talk to. Um, those are the main trees, and then intermediate, meaning in between each tree. We planted a banana or a papaya or even actually on the on the driest part of the uh, the grove intermediate instead of using bananas we actually use figs because it's pretty dry up there at the at the highest end um, and those were all planted at grade the bananas can take a little bit more wet um, but also we've got a lot of support species put in um, we, we did a lot of mexican sunflower we used the fakahatchee grass um, those two in combination are a, a big part of the chop and drop system that we put in. Um, we also used a lot of uh, natives. We've got the firebush. Let's see, firebush right there. Uh, we've also got caliandra. We've got wax myrtle, uh, which is another nitrogen fixer. We've got sweet almond. Several types of ground cover, the perennial peanut, the uh, mimosa. Uh, we've got these quarter weeds. Really good pollinator, edible flowers. Um, and then on the outside, let's see, on this edge, 
right there is the bay. There's mangroves here, and then we we planted in our windbreak. Um, these are the green buttonwoods. We've got some cabbage palms, and we're going to be putting in a bunch of coconut palms in this area too. I think we got like a dozen coming in um, early this week. Uh, one of the cool features of this project, um, you have to use your imagination here, but these this is going to be like a cheeky hut area, and this is kind of a private getaway from the house. It's pretty much secluded over here. And we've planted our special um, coconut palms. These are the red spicatas that I mentioned in a previous video that we got from Muni Farms. Um, we have eight of them. And uh, one of the design features of the house is that he has an oct octagon shaped room at the front of the house. So we decided to use that octagon shape design idea in the grove so we're going to make an octagonal cheeky hut and we've got on the eight points we've got our um, coconut palms so this is right here in the middle of the grove um, we've planted it up we've got some pretty um, some of the larger banana varieties and we've got some cecropias we wanted we want kind of like a jungle feel here so we've got some of the larger you know larger leaf Plants. We've got we've got a lot of taros and um, malangas and gingers. We've got the the awapui, the shampoo ginger, the galangal, um, some lemongrass. Trying to make it kind of a special spot um, within within the garden. Um, so that's what we've been working on. It's not done yet, but we've got a lot a lot of it done. Um, irrigation. Looks like they're almost finished with. Um, we've got a pretty big well on this project, so I think it's only a few, a few, uh, a few zones for this project. But um, I don't really know a lot about that because I didn't get to work on that. I did most of the layout of the, of the beds themselves, so the, made sure that everything was straight and spaced out properly, in the right place. Um, but it's been a lot of fun working with Pete and his crew. Um, it's kind of cool when you have all the equipment. It's amazing what you can get done uh, when you put the right people together and uh, the right equipment. And uh, we, I mean, we, this is only three weeks. Th three weeks ago, this was a grass field. There was nothing here. Um, so it's pretty amazing. This is, here's our, some of our jackfruit trees here, jackfruit. In the back there's mangoes. I think we did like like 40 or 45 mangoes. Um, and then over here, this is kind of, this has been our staging area during the project. This is where we've been keeping all of our plants. But uh, we're actually going to use this canopy area um, as another planting area. Where, the area where I'm standing right now, this big open expanse, is actually going to be a barn. Um, it's going to be completely solar powered. The whole roof is going to be uh, paneled up with solar and it's going to power the house. It's going to be a net zero um, project here. It's really exciting. Um, but over here in this canopied area, we're going to be putting some of the shade loving plants in here and uh, kind of making it a little bit more organic feel. We've got kind of an organized, you know, that kind of corduroy row spacing kind of thing going on and we've kind of tried to break it up we've got this more canopied area over here we've got the cheeky that's a little bit more loose loose with uh, what's being planted there um, and then up here at the front of the property closer to the road there's going to be a big like kind of like a nature preserve native native plant area uh, we've got a couple ponds that are already here that i think we're going to be developing in another phase um, Right here's the rest of our, well, not the rest, but a lot of our starts that we're going to be putting into the market garden. A lot of, looks like a lot of herbs. I think we've got a lot of stuff coming in from uh, tree huggers this week. Uh, or no, not, not tree huggers, tree amigos. Big shout out to uh, tree amigos, um, setting us up with the starts for the annual garden. Um, I don't know if you can imagine, but this whole area was completely full of plants couple weeks ago so we've really really taken it down there's not much left star fruit some of these star fruits are gonna be planted in this area they can they can take some shade they don't really mind it 
Um, what else do we have? Not a lot left. Dragon fruit's waiting. We got to build trellises for the dragon fruit. We're also doing uh, grapes. Need trellises for that. These monsteras are gonna go. Those are gonna go in the shade. They'll just climb up a tree or something. Uh, we got a whole bunch of pineapples. We'll probably probably end up doing more pineapples. Uh, we've also got passion fruit that's going on in this trellis. So we have one of our big projects this week is finishing the trellis bed. There's like one bed that's like all trellis stuff, um, which I'm kind of excited to do. And then we're finishing up the market garden. We've got a little bit more mulching to do. And then we're kind of wrapping it up. It's It's gone really well. Um, this has gone really well for a couple of reasons. For one, um, we've got a great client, we've got a great team, and we've got really good equipment. Uh, another is the site. For one thing, the site's flat. Um, it's mostly grass, so we were not clearing the site. Um, and we've had really good weather, so that's really helped us a lot. Um, but it is a kind of a cool thing to see what you can get done in just a few weeks. Um, let me actually I'm gonna walk up here to this so I can show you the kind of the bird's eye view. If you if you uh if you stay tuned, there's gonna be a a drone video. We had a drone uh two drone pilots come out and do some really cool video. I've already seen some of the footage, but they're gonna put it together. Um so stay tuned for that. If I can get my hands on it, I'll try to share it or or do something with it. But let me here's my Best, the best I can get is climb up this grove ladder. Um, another thing we're doing, we have a GoPro camera set up and it's been documenting the entire install. There you go. So there's the house. This is the dry side. That's where the avocados and the figs and then that's where the trellises are going to be in that middle bed. Here's the market garden here. And then here's all the uh, all the rows out there and then that's the cheeky that's the cheeky hut um, so that's what we got here it's a beautiful afternoon I just got here it's Sunday afternoon we're gonna start work tomorrow morning and uh, the lighting was right so I decided to make a video um, anyway that's what's ripening and I'll check in again sometime soon